Do you hear that? That's the sound of controversy. <gasps> Raid. Over Moscow. Don't say anything about the uh, over Moscow bit. They didn't like that. No, Nibs, they didn't. Right, shift run slope. You. No. Uh, excuse me a moment. What is it, Nibs? What? Hang on then. What's the matter, Nibs? You've broke me away. I don't know whether that said found raid or anything. Hello, Nibs. <laughs> Read over Moscow, Nibs. Yeah? What's up with you, then? <gasps> it's an overload. Fingers crossed, Nibs. <laughs> oh, Nibs, what are you doing? Come here. That darn cat. Oh. Oh, no, lock slow 62. Okay, 60. I thought there'd be a scrolling message there or something. I thought that would bug it up. <sighs> Cats. I don't know. I shouldn't steep them. Walk around like that. I'm wobbling the tripod and things, aren't I? <clears throat> Destructions. Oh no, I remember, I did read what you're supposed to do at the beginning of the game. Which was basically get out of the hangar. Um, going by what I've heard over the last 30 years of people in that initial stage, I'm suspecting I probably don't need to read anymore. Um, push forward on the joystick, fires the engine, left and right, swivels you left and right, there are no brakes. There is a very slight amount of gravity, and you've got to open the hangar bay doors by pressing F7. At which point you dive down from low Earth orbit and um, fly towards Russia. For some reason, I don't know. That's what it was like in the 80s, kids. It was minor strikes and the Cold War. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing now? That does not look good. That looks more crashed than... Yes, we meant it to look like this because we are a professional company, but... Hey-ho, we shall see, eh? Hmm, four minutes. We shall see how long it takes to load then, eh? Yes, this was another amazing find on eBay that I squandered the small amount of money that I had for Christmas on. Oh, 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 it's all gone salmon. Because someone reminded me that I'd never played it. And everyone else seems to have. So, time to catch up. And I know nothing about the game other than the hangar at the beginning is stupidly difficult. Um, but then I'd never played V before, um, and until someone told me they couldn't open, get out of the first room, and I played that and got out of the first room within five minutes, and then spent the rest of the day wandering around the ship going, well, this is dull. Um, still, he was a bit knocked about that. Uh, well, maybe the same thing will happen again. Maybe I'll get out with no problem and wonder what the hell everyone's been going on about. Or maybe I'll be swearing and throwing them a 
joystick at the screen. Oh, ooh, ooh. right. Let's press, uh, press, press, stop on tape. Didn't actually say which port the joystick was supposed to be in, did it? Um, oh no, that was in the second set of instructions actually printed on the inlay. Um, I'm assuming. No, no, I'm not seeing it there. Um, no. No. I, I, nah. How about this? You see it on there? Could you see anything at all? Well, we'll just press F1, I guess. It's going to be uh, the obvious thing to do. No, that's F1. Press F1. And if you then you press left with the joystick in port 1, it goes back to the start again. So I'm guessing port 1 is not the port we want. OK. F1. Nothing happening there. Let's... Oh, oh, right, we have some dots. So I'm guessing we need to go there. Space. Come on, get in your ship, get in your ship. Yeah, no rush. It's only, like, nuclear war. Right, where are the hangar doors? Is that the hangar doors up there? Let's follow those lines, shall we? Is that the hangar there? I don't know if that's the hangar doors or not. Nothing, F7 doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, right, that's a wall there then, is it? Come on! Mr. Tin Tack Feet. I mean, I don't have to go through that door up there, do I? Really? That takes me up a bit. Ah, oh, right, now it's going to open. Well, did you ever? Come on, third time's a charm. I'm sensing a flaw in the design of this whole hangar. Yeah, you know, forcing your pilot to... What? Why not? Why didn't they reverse them in to start with so it's easier to get away? Is that enough height? And how much fuel do they waste pissing around in the, in the hangar? Fire, 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 fire. F7. That's too high. Oh no, that's just right. Okay. Let's go get another one out there. What are we supposed to do once we've got one out? Now that you're in Soviet airspace, blah, blah, blah. in order to reach the launch site, you must first make a run through enemy territory to reach the missile silos. Uh, and I, now I need to get back to the game again. Nice, solid sort of jet fighter sprite. Got that kind of, um, a little bit Zax and a little bit, um, beachhead. Stop sliding around the bloody place. Right. Right, we're done. Good. We're done. Up. Open the doors. And through. Lovely jubbly. No urgency. Don't worry about it, mate. God almighty, these pilots, eh? As he ploughs his way straight into the wall. I mean, actually, maybe that's why they're a bit reticent to speed things up. They're walking to their death, aren't they? And 
little bit of height. Uh, F7, and let's get going. Right, seriously? This was causing lots of people problems they never got out? Because that's three in a row on my first go ever. And, well, if you look through most of my other gaming videos, you'll see I'm not really up to much these days, so... Um, it's thrust. You just don't go silly. And you get yourself lined up nicely. Now uh, let's turn around again. I mean... You're watching the video of someone who... On the few times you got to play Elite on Friends Machines... Because I never had that. There's another one I'm missing. Let's open the doors. Oh no, we've got to take off first before they'll open the doors. Yeah, you know, on the few times that I got to play Elite, I, I never could resist firing on their own station and getting the police cruisers coming out. And um, I had no patience or anything. So how, okay, right. Let, anyway, let's see what the rest happens then. Eh? Um, what do I do? Press fire, move. Ah, I am that dot there. So I've got to go over there. I'm guessing to the launch site, because if I defeat the launch site then those missiles about to nuke us ain't gonna happen. Right, okay. Okay. Oops. Well, I shot something. Is this Russia then? Goes right. All of a sudden, it's gone blue max sideways. Oh, so I need 19 meters. I had an altitude of 19. Now I have an altitude of M. Hey, I can shoot the missile, and the missile can shoot me. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit odd. It does feel a little. I'm guessing I need to get low down to avoid missiles. Let's get low down here and shoot this up. Oh, oh dear. Bye bye, Atlanta, by the looks of things. What's in Atlanta? I don't know what's in Atlanta. I'm going to have to look up what's in Atlanta so we know what we're missing. And we go, no, why did I blast off in that direction when the doors are over there? Honestly, what are these guys like in multi-storey car parks? Jesus. Hell, maybe when I was a kid I would have been terrible at this because I'd had no grown-up experience of having to park cars and things. Up and open the doors. <laughs> okay then. Oh, time to impact. Twenty-five seconds. Right. So then missiles are landing, aren't they? I mean, you really got to think. Look, this multi-billion-dollar space platform that we've got going on here. It can't be good for us to keep ramming ships into it. We've got to find a better way of getting them out there. I mean, it's like they've never even seen Battlestar Galactica. Oh. Bye-bye. Atlanta destroyed. Right. Saratov is aiming at Miami. They're getting jiggy with it. Come on, come on, come on. You know, it's not like there's a timer ticking down or anything. And turn. And reverse. And reverse a little less. 
That'll do. And forwards. And fire button to take off a little bit. And open the doors. And let's accelerate very gingerly. Yes, I did make it under the door this time. Woo! And let's bring another one out. I say another one, our last one. You are our final hope. An odd way they get inside their craft. Their craft which seems much smaller than them. Really, it doesn't look like they fit. Maybe there's some kind of blender interface on the top and that's what that noise is as they flicker red. They're being turned into a human smoothie. And then poured into the cockpit. No, that's too much that way. And... Yeah, close enough. Yeah. It's not even like it's a particularly small door. I thought it was going to be a tiny bloody thing. Honestly, what are you lot like? If I can handle this. I mean, obviously I'm not going to save the world here, but I can get out some doors. No, can't do anything about those missiles. I guess we have to go and take the fight to them with our two stealth fighters that don't seem particularly stealthy. I think if someone painted them yellow. Well, this looks familiar. Stay low. Sweet chariot. Ha ha, I got the school bus. I'm assuming it's a school bus. Oh, better take off. Oh, am I going to... Yeah, okay. Oh my god, you go faster when you go down. Ooh. Oh, they put those pillars there to save... Oh. Ooh, they're chucking choppers at me now. Now I can't turn around and have another go at them because their defences seem to be some poles in the ground, which I'm sure wouldn't have helped if I'd come from any other direction. Ooh! Well, this is different. Am I supposed to shoot the holes in the top or something? I mean, I... I mean, I'm probably supposed to read the instructions, really. Oh, where's the fun in that, eh? Look, that one's at the top, so surely if I'm at top height... No. Let's go low for that one, then. Oh, I hope I'm not going to have to fly my other craft all the way here. What am I supposed to be doing here, people? I don't think I have a pause key, so... Change colour there. What am I supposed to be doing? I do not know. But that's half the fun. Well, I'm not shooting that anyway. brown screen, isn't it? Brown and grey. It's like Gears of War. Difference being, actually, with Gears of War is I'm kind of enjoying this. Gears of War, I really didn't. There was something about the feel of it didn't feel right. And stupid, stupid macho characters were... Well, they were stupid. I just couldn't get into that at all. If they'd been stupid macho characters for a laugh, maybe. But the whole thing was just so full of bullshit macho swaggering. He says, completely ignoring the fact that this was called Raider with Moscow. Yeah, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. I'm sure I've hit that a few times now. 
It's a bit difficult to try and read the instructions at the moment. And I don't have my cartridge in, so I can't freeze the game and come back to it, because I didn't want it interfering with any of the loading, just in case. Am I really sp How about if I just go over here for a bit and then... Um, then they can't get me for a couple of minutes. Soviet Defence Centre. Oh, one of them shot me. Oh dear. Soviet Defence Centre. Um, let's just move this. Oh god, this is difficult to read and... Um, and missiles. This is missile silos. Push forward to dive, pull back to climb. And each silo has a, a small window which you must fire a rocket, yes, in order to destroy it. When you properly line up the target, your aircraft will turn blue. Ah, that's why the aircraft turns blue. Lovely. Right, thank you. We have a vague idea of what we're supposed to do now. I suspect going for the ones over on the right is easier, because you don't get... him turning up quite so quickly and intercepting your shots. Gotcha! Ha 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 ha! Bit lower, I'd say. I'm sure his bullets will hit me regardless of what height I am, though. I'm not going to test that theory. I'm pretty sure I've probably proved that already. Let's go down a little bit, then. Bit. And you know what? A little bit of banding on the screen is kind of helping here. It doesn't stay blue though, does it? Uh, come on, tell me when I'm the right height. Now that's gone over now. Let's go one notch down. Still not blue. One notch down. Still not blue. No. Let's go for over here. Let's see if you've got to take him from here. Let's go up one. And up one again. Yeah, a bit of banding on the screen is helping me line it up a bit better. Ah, hang on, that's changed colour over... Is that, was that blue before? It's not looking good for Miami, really, is it? No, that's not doing anything. I thought maybe it was going to change colour. <laughs> ah! Bye-bye, Silo. Can I get three more in 12 seconds? I seriously doubt it. Nibbler's shouting in the background again. Oh, war is hell, isn't it? Um, you really don't have much time to do it, do you? Bye, Miami. Bye, Amy. So, how many... Is there three aircraft there? Really? Have they built more? Well, we're buggered, aren't we? Um, yeah, um, don't want to be in here, thanks. Oh dear. Once, does it say anything about once you run out of... <laughs> robot? Oh my god, there's a robot in this somewhere. Um, yeah, it's all very good you making those noises at me. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't want to be back inside the space station. I've got, I'm sure I've got someone down on the ground still. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Not sure what happened there. Okay, I picked up a full complement again. And a score of zero. 
something tells me this has started again. And I'm not entirely sure what happened at the last one, but I suspect it did quite badly. Right, getting cocky now. Doors open. Hey! Let's get them all out. Come on. Come on. And into a lovely blended smoothie he goes, poured into the cockpit, and off we go. And we go backwards, and we go forwards again, but not as much, because we're not idiots. And we press fire, and we go, oh shit, we're getting a bit close to those doors. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. How are we doing on time? Four minutes, right. Imagine I'm loading another tape in right now. And back. And ooh, 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 ooh. How is Slapdash going to do this? Fairly Slapdash. Come on, man. You'd think they'd walk in such a straight line. You'd, you'd think they'd be a bit more accurate with their flying, wouldn't you? Like, not pedal to the metal and floor it that away. Back. Forwards. And. Oh, what happens if I crash into one of the other craft? Doors. Doors. Oh, yes. Better lift off before I ask for the doors again. Seems a bit silly if you ask me, but. Yeah. Right then. And we go. Off we go. Here. I want a ship built like those ones. What? That's not the way to do it. So, <clears throat> Raid Over Moscow. It's like a sci fi beachhead. Um. I like that. I'll play that a bit more. Um, I'm not quite sure why everyone was banging on about it being so impossible. Unless maybe they were playing on suicidal mode. In which case, what do you expect? Um, yeah, I think probably I'll have to um, read the uh, destructions a bit better so I know where I'm, where I'm, what I'm supposed to be doing. But um, so far, yeah, like it. Um, I can kind of see why imagery like that <laughs> caused a bit of complaint here and there. Um, but it's a cool title. I mean, Raid by itself just sounds like fly, sp fly killer. Raid over Moscow. Ooh, conjures up all sorts of imagery. Um, yeah, fun, good. And really nice quality copy as well from uh, the same person that I got Jack Attack from. And and all the others. Oh, we get a demo mode as well. Minsk to Dallas. Who shot JR? Minsk did. Oh, the tension. I suppose you could just sit there and watch that. Seven minutes of anticipation. And then watching the city go up. Yeah. Okay, let's see how the computer manages here. Can it get out the doors before the camera runs out in... 30 seconds. Oh, he's being cocky. Is that going to be his downfall? Apparently so. There we go. Turns out I'm better at flying a plane out of a hangar than a Commodore 64 is. And we're just about to run out of time, so I will wish you adieu, and thanks for watching, and catch you on the next one, hopefully. Ta-da!